brackets x plus 1, close brackets, equals 3 times x plus 3 times 1, equals 3x plus 3. Fascinating. This is so boring. Why do I have to sit through so much maths? I already know what I'm going to be, an animator. That's what I need to be doing, animation. Well, Nick, you know, you don't have to do this much maths if you know what you want to do after you finish school. Huh? Can Sir hear what I'm thinking? That's impossible. No, it's not. And yes, I can hear what you're thinking. And that's right. If you know what you want to pursue, then you should be able to tailor your schooling by choosing subjects or courses to build a program to suit your needs and passions. Wow, that's incredible. And the course program thing sounds good too, sir. But what do you mean? The main job of this school is to make sure each one of you gets at least one qualification by the end of Year 12. For some of you, it'll be a VCE certificate, and for others, a VCAL certificate, Victorian Certificate of Applied Learning. Some of you might start VCE and move to VCAL to make sure you get a Year 12 qualification. There are a lot of combinations possible. Others of you might end up with two or even three qualifications. Like the VCE, the VCAL is a recognised senior qualification. Unlike VCE, which many students use as a pathway to university, the VCAL focuses on hands-on learning. Students who do VCAL might go on to TAFE and then on to university to get their degree. They might get an apprenticeship or a full-time job after Year 12. In most schools, VCAL involves three days at school, one day of industry training and one day of work placement. But sir, what do I study if I do the VCAL? You can select units and modules from four VCAL strands. Strand 1. Literacy and Numeracy Skills, Strand 2, Industry Specific Skills, in your case Nick it might be learning some animation specific software, Strand 3, Work Related Skills, and Strand 4, Personal Development Skills, and we could all use a bit of those can't we? You mean I still have to do some maths? Maybe just a bit. Wow, can you hear what I'm thinking too? Sure can Melody, what can I do for you? Cool. Well, sir, I want to be a musician. What should I do? Well, vocational education and training. Or VET might be the right program for you. VET allows students to include vocational studies within their senior secondary certificate. Students undertake nationally recognised training packages which may contribute to their VCE or VCAL. VET covers a range of subjects or units you can do which are based on workplace qualifications. Automotive. Building and construction. Hairdressing. Sports and recreation, or in your case, music. The list goes on. What about me, sir? What about apprenticeships? I really want to be a mechanic. Yes, bad. School-based apprenticeships and traineeships allow students over 15 years of age to work as paid part-time trainees or apprentices while completing Year 10, VCE or VCAL. School-based apprenticeships include a VET component which counts towards VCE and VCAL. They're a good introduction to the world of work. Do I still have to do any maths, sir? Why do you all hate maths so much? Don't any of you like maths in this class? I do, sir. I love maths. Maths and science. In fact, that's what I want to be, sir. A scientist of some sort. Ah, Ling. Good for you. So it's VCE for you then? Yes, sir. Students can do VCE in years 11 and 12. Some do subjects or units in year 10. You can include VET subjects to build your program. For students who want to go to university, you may need to get an Australian Tertiary Admission Ranking, or ATAR. And Ling, you might want to have a look at VET Laboratory Skills, which can boost your score in science. How do we get into these programs, sir? What do we do? Well, firstly, talk to your parents. Then talk to your VCE coordinator, the VCAL coordinator, or your careers teacher. Attend parent information sessions, interviews, ask questions. It's your future. I hope that's helped clarify some of the concerns you may have had regarding your last few years in school and shown you some of the options you may not have been aware of. Right, where were we? Ah yes, algebra. Oh. Yeah. Open brackets, B plus C plus D, close brackets. Here.